smashed the windows and he smashed um, many things. He smashed everything he could reach and he had knives in his hands and he was bleeding and stained glass was everywhere. There was glass shatters everywhere, all over the floor. Windows were broken, coffee pots were broken, all the dishes were smashed. Everything he could reach was smashed and glass on the ground and he had knives in his hands, butcher knives, and he was bleeding. And um, when I got back, the therapist was on the front steps phoning the police to come the police department. And I asked him what happened and I came in the backyard. Um, I used my keys and I opened the back door and I walked right up to my boy and I said, baby, what's going on? And he said, I'm scared and I don't wanna hurt, and hurt you. And he was bleeding. I asked him to give me, I said, how about you give me those? And he gave me the knives willingly and freely. And just as I got that out, um, the Tacoma Police Department came in. One of them was really a big man, very, very substantial in size. And he filled the whole doorway the whole archway in my living room and um immediately he and his little buddy they were start commenced to put on rubber gloves and I figured that was because of the blood in the glass and then they told me to go get a belt and I didn't know what that was all about I had no idea and I said they said do you have a belt and I said well I think I do on my on my boy my boy has one for his his um Sunday suit so I went and got the belt, and um, they took it from me. I handed it to them, and they took it from me. And they hit the table with it very hard, very loudly, you know? And I thought that that was going to be, like, the shock value or the extent of you can't do this. And they proceeded to tell me that I had to use that belt and beat my boy. He came to me as a broken child, you know, completely disabled. And I promised my boy that I would never hurt him or hit him. And I told the policeman that I, I promised him I would never hurt him. They told me I had to. They weren't going to call an ambulance or anything. And, and my boy was bleeding. And he was completely out of control because he was completely terrified. And I screamed at the therapist. And I said, I can't hold his wrists and kiss him, but I can beat him with a belt. And I, I looked at him. And the police officer said, don't look at him. He's nothing. He means nothing to us. We're the ones with the gun. We're with the power. We're the ones who, who you need to listen to. I mean, my boy was terrified and I was terrified and I looked into his beautiful eyes that I'd promised I'd done before and I promised I'd never hurt him. And then they told me that if I didn't do this, that they were gonna call CPS, take the boy from me and, and I'd never see him again. I told them I'm disabled and I, my back is broken. I just had surgery. This isn't anything, I'm, I mean, I'm not supposed to lift five pounds. I'm not supposed to twist. I'm not supposed to bend. I'm not supposed to sit and you want me to hurt a boy. And they said, yes, you have to do this, you have to do this, and um, I did it.